Uh, that's a bit more than I want to spend. Uh, getting closer, but okay, okay. Oh, three stars and 31 reviews. Okay, well, what about this one? Oh, four stars and 327 reviews? Oh, hot dog. What's happening? I'm Sam DeZeo, and this is SmartDesign.Church, where we help churches communicate the timeless gospel in the 21st century. And I am excited because today we have a package that came in the mail. This is from Five Fine Technology. It's a wireless mic, and I'm excited to see if this is any better than the, uh, the other cheap wireless mics that I've used in the past. It's got decent reviews on Amazon, so I figured let's give it a shot. <laughs> Shoot. So this mic actually comes with a ton of different pieces. You got your uh, lavalier mic. You also got your headset mic if you're gonna use that. How do you, something like that, I think. A wireless transmitter and then the receiver that plugs into your camera. So this has a quarter inch on it, but it actually came with a adapter. So you have the eighth inch plug that is gonna work for most cameras. So that's kind of nice. I have been looking for a really inexpensive wireless mic solution for a while. So I'm crossing my fingers that uh, this is gonna be the microphone that I've been looking for this whole time. But I also have to be fair and remember that this is a $35 microphone, which is crazy. And it wouldn't be fair if I compared this up against my $350 Rode VideoMic Pro that we're using right here. So we're gonna go ahead and use this room just because of the sheer size of this room. So this would be a good opportunity to test like the range of how far this pack can go. The first thing we need to do though is to set up the mic and make sure that the audio sounds good because if it has bad audio quality, none of this really even. Okay, so. Shoot. I guess I'm making another trip. Remember to grab your receipt. Thanks. See you again soon. And you know, the thing is, I've tried other microphones. I always just seem to get this insane amount of hiss, but then I look back at like the reviews and other people have those problems too. So that's kind of why I'm just hoping that this is a little bit different. So one thing to note is that this takes both triple and double A batteries. So once we got all the batteries in, we just flip this guy on and it should go from like a green to a reddish color here. And the red color just means that it is paired to the transmitter. So now if we just plug in our microphone, let's give this a shot. Check, check, one, two, check. We are testing the mic. Uh, let's see the level on the camera. It's actually super low. Testing, testing. I mean, if I talk really loudly, it starts to get to a decent level, but I really have to project for this to give me anything good. What I'm gonna do now is just boost the sensitivity and see, see, check, 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 one, two. And see, that's getting a little bit better levels. Um, but the more I push this, the more noise we're gonna get. So I wanna be careful not to push it too high. There's no like hot shoe on this thing. And I've got my road mic up there now, but if there was some sort of hot shoe, I could, uh, put this up here and it would just not be dangling. I feel like that should have already been a feature Okay, so from first glance it does look like the levels are a little bit better on this microphone just by boosting up the sensitivity But remember I can't hear anything. So um, I don't know if the noise is bad You let me know be the judge down in the comments All right, so I'm gonna walk over here and see what the audio sounds like so I'm probably about I don't know 10 feet away 15 feet away, 25 feet away, and how's it sound? I'm, I'm kind of around uh, noisy equipment. I don't know if you can hear that at all. And all right, let's check out how, uh, how the headset sounds. It's looking a little hot. I'm barely talking here. Like, I don't feel like I'm talking loud at all, and it looks like those levels I'm, that I'm looking at on the camera are a little hot. So, I'm, again, I'm about 15, 25 feet back. I'm around um, some noisy equipment with fans blowing, if you can hear that. Okay, so let's talk about how this mic sounds so far. Just looking back at the footage, I can tell that the lav mic doesn't have a ton of bass to it. Does it sound good? Is there a lot of bass to it? Is it too tinny? But interestingly enough, the headset mic seemed to have more bass to it. How's it sound? How's the levels look? It's 
looking a little hot, I'm barely talking. And since it's a little hotter, there's going to be less noise because you don't have to turn the gain up so much. So um, it almost seemed like the headset mic is a little bit better than the lav mic, which for me kind of stinks because I'm probably not going to use the headset mic ever, uh, but I would use the lav mic. That said though, in terms of the tonal quality, that can kind of be an easy fix. If we just throw it into our editor, add a quick EQ and boost the bass a little bit, um, it's it actually ends up not being that bad. Again, considering that this is a $35 microphone, I'm not comparing this to a 300 to a thousand, couple thousand dollar microphone. It's like, eh, you know, you give and take. Does it sound good? Is there a lot of bass to it? Is it too tinny? Does it sound good? Is there a lot of bass to it? Is it too tinny? But now let's talk about the noise level. The noise is kind of the thing, especially for the loft, but it almost seems like it's the same problem that I have with any other inexpensive, super cheap mic. I know there are solutions for that. You can bring it into like Adobe Audition and just sample a little bit of the noise and then get rid of all of the noise. There is solutions, but if this is going to be my primary mic to use, I'm not gonna to wanna to do that for every single clip. Like, that's just not practical. All right, so we've come to that time where it is time to test the range. This is the thing that I'm most excited about uh, because I wanna see how far this thing can uh, reach. So let's try this out. Okay, so we're starting out this test a little bit further away since we've already tested about 15 to 25 feet. So as I walk away, we will able be able to see uh, how well that this continues to pick up my voice. Now I'm looking at the camera and I'm looking at that red dot on the receiver just to see if that starts changing color once I get a little too far. And now I can't tell right now if it's cutting in and out. I'll have to check that out later. But um, we will see if it starts to tell me from the camera if, let's see, it's still red for me, so I can't, I can't tell if that's telling me anything good or bad. It might still be working. Oh my goodness. So I just listened to the footage and that went about 100 feet-ish where the sound didn't really cut out at all. That I gotta give this microphone mad props for because it's so inexpensive but it took this way further than I thought it was going to. If you are a church or just somebody on a budget who's looking to up your gear without breaking the bank, we have put together a whole playlist for you, and that playlist will just help you get the equipment you need to start creating better videos or graphics. So go ahead and click right here or click right here to watch more. We'll see you in the next video.